Hi, welcome to Ignite Success. I'm your host, Susie Becker, and I'm here with Dasha Tishlik and Michelle Page of Go Go Grow Podcast. Hi, ladies. Hello. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for being here today. I want to talk about what motivated you to start a podcast. Let's start with you, Michelle. My entire career has been about coaching and mentoring. And from the, the early stages of my career, it was coaching my peers and then coaching my team and then coaching one business, multiple businesses. And it got to the point where I thought, how can, how can I reach more people? Uh, when Dasha and I met, we, we both were kindred spirits. We had the same goal. And we thought, well, maybe we'll do one LinkedIn Live. And next thing you know, we're doing a podcast. <laughs> so Dasha, let's hear from your perspective. You guys, how did you meet? Yeah, so uh, we met through, both of us believe in mentorship, uh, not only giving mentorship to others, but when you're running your business, having peer networks where you can reach out to people with similar businesses and problem solve things together. So we were in one of these networking calls with a mix and match who so you can meet people and network. Um, it was called Fractional Executives. Mm -hmm. And Michelle and I just kind of hit it off and we had a second call and it went on forever. We were just chatting about everything in life and um, then the book both of us ended up joining a women fractional executive uh, peer networking group called Acorn Oak. And through all of those interactions, we just kept feeling like we had this amazing energy. We just, she would get, have an idea for something. I'd be rolling with it. Suddenly we're like, are, are we just dominating a conversation here? <laughs> just the two of us going back and forth. So we were like, okay, we, sh we should talk about all these other ideas we have offline. And we started helping each other with each other's businesses mm -hmm. because we're kind of at similar, well, Michelle's business has been around longer, but she's been going through a pivot and refocusing some of her services. Mm -hmm. My business is newer, so I'm trying to establish what those are. So we just kept having conversations that were building on each other's businesses. And as we were doing that, we were developing templates and ideas for each other. And then we're like, we should do something together. So this was an organic genesis oh, yes. through communication and shared values and creative outlook. And you're both in the field of marketing, public relations, which is a very wide scope today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's head these things on right off the bat. Marketing has become very popular. Podcasting has become very popular. What makes your show unique? Yeah, a couple things. Um, one, we are very focused in the local community, bringing in local entrepreneurs and Ooh. providing resources more locally. The second is we are we're very focused. Uh, we're thinking about B2B businesses. Both Michelle and I have a lot of experience with specifically medical and health SaaS companies, um, pharmaceutical, mm -hmm. B2B sales. So we have a lot of overlap in industry. Mm -hmm. And then she, but she and I bring different um, experiences. Michelle is more uh, top of the funnel focused in sales and marketing. I'm more focused on like technological communication, new product rollouts, overall strategy for so growth. Smart. So we're able to jointly bring a more holistic view of things as well as by bringing our guests. And so the format of our podcast is somewhat unique as well. We have a combination of guests and then basically mini lessons where we take concepts that people maybe heard. They're like, okay, customer journey mapping. Is that just a wasted exercise or how do you do Ooh. this well to improve your business? So we'll we'll digest that and, and explain how each of us have used it in businesses in order to help them grow. So kind of co we coach and then we like interview and then we coach again on a topic and then we bring an expert or somebody who's implemented that to give more uh, perspective on a particular topic in business growth. I love that. It sounds like you're taking the macro conversation yeah. and then you're breaking it down to the micro level discussions. Most importantly, I think that this conversation style of mentorship, you use that word a number of times if oh, you yeah. notice, and what I love the most is that your mentorship is leading to capacity building as well. You're growing that vertical of someone with experience utilizing the opportunities for someone with new information mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that you don't have to go back and relearn. You're going to break it down in what you do the best and focus on that area to do it even better. The second level of mentorship is the horizontal. 
So you're looking to your peers and you're engaging with the experts and you're bringing them on yeah. and you're breaking it down to lessons yeah. that are easy to digest. So in one thought, Michelle, if you had to give one lesson to somebody, what would it be? You're stronger than you, than you think. You know more than you think. And if you have a dream, a goal, an inkling of something you want to do, that means you should do it. And I, f I found, uh, I, I love quotes. Mm. If I hear something, if I see something, if I think something and it's impactful, I write it down. Mm. I was going through a list of, of quotes uh, this week actually, and I saw one and I'm like, oh wow, who said that? Oh my gosh, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> so share with us your words. <laughs> the single risk, uh, risky, how did I put it? Um, the, the single riskiest financial decision you can make is being an employee rather than an entrepreneur. Mm. Dasha, your thoughts? I think um, I love, the place I show up best is when I work with ambiguity. And that's what a lot of people employ me to help them with is something chaotic and ambiguous like a product launch um, where there's just a lot of unknowns. So my favorite lessons are about how you take something that seems really, really big and kind of undigestible and you parse it out into a structure and a set of information that you just you can step step through to take that chaos and turn it into something that's orderable and th that you can see your way through so that sometimes means goal breaking out goals sometimes it's just like we have a complex problem people have different views on this problem how do i reconcile these views and um, that's just a matter of structuring the thought and it's present in everything I do. It's not a particular one set of skills. It's just something that you learn to do over time. And that's one of the things I hope to accomplish with our podcast as well as to be introducing some of that mm -hmm. framework, structured thinking that can be applied to any uh, ambiguous, unknown situation in entrepreneurship. Everything is ambiguous and unknown. So <laughs> having that toolbox of dealing with different problems with different levels of structure really helps people be able to say, oh, okay, I don't know it yet, but I have a way to work my way through mm -hmm. to get to an answer. Thank you so much, Dasha and Michelle, for being here to talk about Go, Go, Grow podcast. And I really appreciate the effort that you're making into bringing these resources to everyone in an easily accessible way. If you want to find out more, you can go to dailynewsnetwork.com. I'm your host, Susie Becker. Stay inspired and inspiring.